Hardcore. Kill confirmed. Neutralize hostiles. Grab their tanks. So is that one. Simple enough. Get to cover. Need medical. Close one. We've taken the lead. X-ray down. Hostile UAV in the area. Detected. Confirmed. Take an effective fire! Hostile UAV in the area.
Time is half complete. Secure enemy position airstrike. Find cover. Stay with it. That was dodgy. Pasted that one. Targets in the area.
Our core team deathmatch. Engage and destroy the enemy. All of them. Shit! Target's dead! Nice! We have taken the lead. Eyes up! Hello. What you up to? Hello. There we go. I'm on my last camo until I get the mastery camo for this game. So, about done. Thank goodness. What you doing? No. I have been doing this since before you messaged me last night. And just finally hit the last gun, very last camp. So. I'm so tired. <laughs> oh. I'm getting that way too, and I don't know what from. But my throat just all of a sudden started hurting, and then I get like all. I like about fainted in Walmart today. That was lovely. I can tell. Five of ten. <sighs> so close. And this. Yeah, see, look at that. Look. You got it? No, that's. That's the zombies one. Yeah. Boy, Alice. That's one I've. Another one I <laughs> try to get. <sighs> That one's going to be more difficult than this one, I'm sure.
Dang it. Gosh, dang it. Oh, I saw him fire as soon as he shot me. Three, four. Come on, somebody show yourself so I can reload. Mother of the No! <laughs> Dang it. They all name themselves weird the things. Themselves that person, I guess. 
Yeah, I'm... Psycho. Oh. Just a wee bit. I don't think I'm getting one this match. This is ridiculous. this match can't do anything Give me another year to finish this one camo out of 200 and... You know what? I'm going to add it up. No, last camo, which then unlocks the thing. 216 plus 36. So, <clears throat> I'm on camo number 252, which is the last one and then you unlock everything it's freaking ridiculous <laughs> oh. yeah well now every gun has four camos and then four completion camos which the third one you don't have to do a challenge for because you have seven challenges to get there so once you do all seven challenges for each gun then it unlocks the eighth camo for every gun it is ridiculous oh this one looks amazing yeah it's called interstellar and it's just like a a galaxy that moves across the gun like no man's sky type galaxy you know the intro where you load in and stuff that's what it looks like so if i get five kills with one magazine four more times i'll be done <sighs> sweat mode engage on shipment of all things on hardcore <laughs> only downside now is they have granted I like it but it's very annoying in hardcore is the um, RGL 80 which is a six round noob tube of doom and in hardcore it's an insta kill so Pretty much people are just lobbing it into different areas, getting like four kills per bomb. <laughs> so dumb. So that and flashbangs, because some of the guns are like, while someone's affected by your flashbang or stun grenade, get them killed. It's like, yeah, okay, I'll do that. So 
pretty much. You're going blind every match. Where'd that guy go? One. Three, four. Oh my gosh, dang it. I thought he was the other guy. I'm not seeing him. What the heck? Yeah, the new Fallout shows trailer just released. It looks really good. Comes out um, April. If you load the 76, you get the Vault 33 jumpsuit, which is the vault of this show, which I have yet to do. I gotta. I know. I haven't either. Like I said. I... I don't either. Figure me not having it installed. That's that takes some freaking lack of care for their game, pretty much. Yeah, and the new update comes out on the sixth for Atlantic City, so New Jersey, and it's the same thing. It's an expedition, there's two quests. And... Yeah. This one seems like it has more of a story to it, but even then, I don't know. The only enticing thing about it is it's something that's never been in a Fallout game before, so it's like its own unique little area, because like the pit We've already been there. This is New Jersey, and it's like a gambling. It's like Vegas, so it's been un untouched by the bombs because there wasn't really many military establishments around, so it was fairly uh, clear. So it's like run by a mob and has like these weird plant uh, goblin looking things. I don't know. It looks interesting, but the fact that that's all they could do in like two years is just make that and two random cryptids is kind of annoying. Twenty eighteen. Not that old. It's only five years old. But I want that game to be like ESO, where it's just continuously supported, but it's not. It is, and that's not coming out for another 10 to 15 years. No. Outer Scrolls 6 is just started early development, and Fallout 5 is after that, so. And how they took like 13 years on Starfield, it's gonna be a while. Wherever you are, that's a big fat lie. So they just started Skyrim, or not Skyrim, Elder Scrolls 6 once Starfield launched. Oh, they, yeah. No, they already have. They have an Xbox Series X version called the um, Anniversary Edition.
I already am sick, so jokes on you. <laughs> no, I'll die. <laughs> I'm trying to focus here. <laughs> Take my sickness. No. Well, like I got a triple collateral at Sibling. Just five people put yourself in front of my gun. Four more times, please. Good luck. No, you gotta get five kills, four, five kills with one magazine four times. So, five kills before you reload. I am, but the problem is, is half the time it doesn't track unless you use all of your bullets. When this gun has the lowest magazine is 75 rounds, and one shot killing five people, he has 65 rounds left. Half the time you have to shoot off 65 rounds extra for it to count. It's annoying. Because I, I would have been done an hour ago if it was tracking properly. No, that was four. Dang it. Two. And match. 62 kills, and I don't think I got a single five kills thing. Let me check. Boom. I need three more. So it gave me one. <laughs> Gosh. <sighs> yeah, the live event was really cool. Pretty much they released the new map and chapter of Fortnite this morning. But the live event took place last night. They had like a little downtime. But then on the 6th, I think, is what they said. Or no, the 7th, they're releasing... So they collabed with Lego, but it's not even just like a collab. It's a whole separate game like Save the World. And they did this with three different things. So Lego is collabing with them and it's free to play in Fortnite where it's a Lego survival crafting game. And every Fortnite skin, I think it was like 1200 skins have a Lego variant now. And then they, they're adding, you know what Rocket League is? They have another mode like the Lego thing called Rocket Racing, and it's like Mario Kart or a racing game like Forza. And then the third uh, free game is the cr original creators of Guitar Hero, I think it was, are doing... Um, it's called Fortnite Festival or whatever, but you just sit there and do like Guitar Hero with your controller to songs and stuff. Because it had you do some of it in the live event. But yeah, it's pretty much they're adding three new games to Fortnite for free. Plus Save the World, plus Battle Royale. So that's kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Mother of freaking Pearl, that was four. So, 
I figured you might like the Lego survival crafting thing. Because, as far as I can tell, every I just got killed by team. Every skin converts into a Lego form and stuff. But it's like Lego Ark, from what I can tell. Which is cool to me. Mother of. I haven't bought it yet. Because I'm waiting for Return to Moria to come out on the 5th or the 6th or whatever. The Dwarf Lord of the Rings survival game. I don't care about that. I looked at it, it's... Yeah. Can my team stop shooting me? Thank you. Yeah, I don't care about that game. If I was gonna recommend a Dark souls -y game to you, it'd be Remnant 2. Which... Nah. It... it nah. Didn't suit my fancy. Speaking of... If you ever find Lord of the Rings War in the North, it's a 360 game on disc. It's four-player co-op, and it's Lord of the Rings Dark Souls. So, you know. And I have it. I've had it for since it released, but... You can't buy it digitally. Huh? Yeah, it'll be a 360 game. And it's... It's one of the... Hmm? I mean, oh, the 360 store is shutting down. Everything's still backwards compatible. It's not, as far as I know, on the 360 store. Granted, I even... Probably... Yeah, I just... How much longer? I don't... Two. Yeah. Because... I mean, I couldn't even tell. Unless I plugged in my 360, which is just... Because nah. I would get Arkham Origins, Lord of the Rings Lego... Lord of the Rings War in the North digitally but I don't think they're there anymore I guess I can always ask Reddit but yeah those are those are games that are backwards compatible but you have to have the disc so uh, let's see Xbox is Lord of the Rings War in the North Batman Arkham Origins And Lego Lord of the Rings available in the 360 store. I still only counted one. Hey, let's see, where's my stupid 
Got two more. Normally I'd be fine with three kills for one death, but my gosh, it's so annoying when you actually have to get more. And then you get shot when you think you're doing good. So frustrating. foot. My gosh. One, two. Stop shooting rockets at me, jerk. Dang it. That's why I hate that. shot off. Screw off, people. My gosh. No, that was four.
Oh my gosh, where is he? Where is this teammate? I was on four and he shot me in the leg. Mm. <laughs> Dang it. Quit with the grenade launcher person. I don't know if you can hear it coming through my TV. But all those explosions are people just lobbing grenades out of this stupid noob tube all over shipment. One more. Oh, my gosh. Let's see what they say. All right, where's this? Let's do this. Dang it, teammate. That was my bad. Yeti. What are you doing, buddy?
I did it. Let's go. Yes. Oh my gosh. Get me out of this. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what this looks like. <clears throat> Camo. Oh, yes. Look at it. <laughs> yes, after like 24 hours. Oh, gosh. Let's go. <sighs> well, everyone, thanks for watching. That was fun.